Okay. <laughs> this is so amazing in here. The, the women's section was so amazing. My cart is like overflowing. It's like, there's so many, so many good pieces. Okay, this store is bigger and has a lot more stuff in it, so we're kind of trying to do a quick look, so I'm gonna just scan through all the sections, but I think I'm gonna start in the dresses first. So I am mostly looking for just comfortable, wearable dresses that will transition into the spring and summer months. I'm loving a lot of like casual 90s styles with cute like ditzy floral prints but the first one i found was another vintage 70s piece if you remember from the last video i found a whole lot of those vintage dresses and i found another one at this goodwill so exciting that one went in the cart This one is interesting because it is the brand Porridge from Anthropology. If you saw a recent video, I thrifted a mini skirt from that brand and the, the skirt was originally priced at $150. So I'm imagining the dress was quite expensive. It was kind of a cool piece. And then this corduroy one, this one was interesting because it looked like it was a vintage tag, but it looked more like a modern style, like a LuLaRoe piece. So I was kind of intrigued by the color, but I left it. I think a fun vintage denim dress is always like a thrift store staple. I love the fads tag, but I didn't need it. So I moved on over into the skirts for a quick look. And I mentioned this in the previous video, but I don't really know what styles I'm like particularly interested in the skirts right now. So I didn't pick anything up, but I wanted to show you what the selection was like in this particular store. They also had a really good amount of plus size in every section, but especially in the skirts. I was impressed with that. So if you happen to be in the Roanoke area, this is definitely a good one to come to for a good plus size selection. was really interested in this one I think it would be so fun to style and go with like a lot of graphic tees that I like to wear but it was the wrong size unfortunately for me so I had to leave it this one has some fun pattern mixing going on just wasn't quite my style so that one stayed as well and I love how loud like obnoxiously loud this one is but it's a fast fashion brand and the quality wasn't there so I left it and now we're moving on to the rest of the women's section, which is huge. Okay, we're getting more into the women's side. It's a little overwhelming, like the number of tops that they have. So I'm gonna do a lot of kind of just skimming through at first to see how much deeper I wanna dig. So boom, right away I found another 60s polyester piece. This one's like a tunic vest style that would kind of pair nicely over a lot of the dresses that I have picked up on this day of thrifting. So that one in the cart. And here's a dollar deal with this cute mixed animal print blouse. And so that one in the cart as well. And right next to it was this sweet vintage blouse. I, it seemed like it was almost like a uh, hospital scrubs type of top that had been personalized. And I think the tag originally was a Worthington brand. I just thought it was unbelievably cute and I already just can't believe all the gems that I'm finding.
Yes, it's a dollar. That's so cute. Oh my god. That is so cute. Thank you. Not a sale tag, but it's going in the cart. Okay, absolutely deceased over this vintage blouse. So cute with the little kind of dragonflies or bees on them. But I gotta tell you, on closer inspection, missing buttons and covered in stains. So that one did not come home, but I saved it in the cart to think about it just in case. And I love this is a silk funky print blouse. Just vintage top after vintage top. You can see me stacking up on the cart i am finding so many gems here and i'm just starting to get so excited for how this haul is going to turn out it is going to be so good i'm definitely going to show you everything that i'm considering before we leave the store but trust me when i say you're getting like all of the highlights here there was just so much gold Okay, check out this cat sweater. It has little cat charms dangling off of it, like a sweet pattern knit into it. It's 100% cotton from Charter Club and it's magnificent. But would I wear it? Do I know anyone who would? I don't know. I had to save it in the cart because it was only a buck. And it's just the type of thing that thrift store dreams are made of. <laughs> Oh, this sweater was so cute and tempting for only a dollar, but I felt in part that it was the type of thing that I see really frequently in thrift stores, and it was kind of the wrong time of year for me to grab it, so I left it this time. Okay. <laughs> this is so amazing in here. The, the women's section was so amazing. My cart is like overflowing. I had to just abandon filming for a little bit to really dig in there because it's like there's so many so many good pieces so yeah it's really good here um i want to scan through the men's section and uh yeah i don't know whatever else we haven't seen because it is so good but i'm gonna have like a huge pile of stuff to sort through at the end so i will make sure that i get to show you all of the highlights all of the best stuff before we leave the store You guys know it's like a dream of mine to thrift a vintage Springsteen tee, but here's a new one to her shirt. That's kind of cool. 2016. There wasn't a lot for me in the men's. I did just find a bunch of these cute pleated trousers in the women's pants. So I'm holding on to like four pairs there. <laughs> And now we're at this wall of jackets, and let's take a look. Okay, this section of the store is about to pop off. There are some wild, amazing patterns in here, and some really cool vintage gems. This Pierre Cardin suit set, this amazing vintage Versace knockoff, a blazer went in the cart right away, and then the next piece I found was another funky print blazer. It is just hit after hit in this section. <laughs> this jacket is faux leather, but I love the color. This really light beige, I feel like would be such a great wardrobe staple. It was not in the best quality or condition, so ultimately I left it, but it went in the cart first. And another cool vintage polyester piece. You know, that one had to go in the cart. I 
loved the colors and this blazer, but I have a good blazer selection right now in that style, so I left it. And this jacket, I think it could be so cool. So I ended up trying it on and after I actually tried it, I decided that I think it could be styled really cool. So bear with me to the end of the video when you get to see the styling. And then this piece I just thought was so fun. When you look closely at the print, I feel like the psychedelic kind of nature of the print makes it worth it. So I threw this one in the cart for my shop and just about squealed with joy when I saw this one. That was an instant yes. And this Torrid jacket was cute. It just wasn't a very nice material, so I left it. So the amount of stuff I have in my car right now feels like illegal. <laughs> I found so much stuff, it's overflowing. And I'm kind of glancing through the shoes and bags and I'll film a couple things if there's anything really cool, but it's, it's a little bit smaller section, so not sure I'll find accessories and anything else that we've got to look at and then it's time to sort through the massive cart. Just one last cart shot before I sort this mess. <laughs> All right, it's time to look through everything I found. I found a good amount of trousers, which are definitely a must on my list right now. So I grabbed all of those. And then you saw some of these cute vintage polyester pieces that are gonna round out this whole collection from the day. And I got some really amazing blouses and a lot of good jackets. The pieces that I ended up leaving behind were just a tough call. Even though some of them were tagged on the sale, I just had to be a little bit picky because I found so much. So I really went for my absolute favorites, things that I knew I was gonna get a lot of wear out of, or a few pieces that I knew people were gonna want in my shop. So I ended up getting a lot of this stuff, but if I left something behind that you thought I should have kept, I totally agree. I wish I could have taken it all, honestly, but only a couple of things were damaged and everything else was just kind of a tough decision to leave it behind. Okay, I have a lot of decisions to make and I think I'm like kind of out of time so this video doesn't end up being crazy long. So <laughs> you are just gonna find out what I end up getting in the haul coming up next. And the checkout line founder. Diane Von Furstenberg, pretty damaged, so we're gonna leave it, but I always find Diane in these Roanoke stores, and here was the piece in the last possible place. <sighs> Another amazing thrift in Roanoke. Um, that Goodwill in Holland's is fantastic. They have like probably the largest selection of the Goodwills in the area. It's really packed in there, um, but I was so pleasantly surprised to see so many funky vintage gems. My rack is just like a wild mix of different styles and different eras. So let's get into the haul. I will do try on and styling with the pieces. The first piece is this vintage, super bright, very cute, very spring windbreaker from Casual Isle Plus. I love seeing a plus size vintage piece, especially this psychedelic pattern really caught my eye because it looks like it could be a modern style, but we're looking at an 80s piece here, so that's always really fun. I think this will be so cute styled in a casual, little bit dad core vibe for the spring with your light wash denim and sneakers. I even threw on the hat and fanny pack just to go all in on the look. And I'm excited to be able to offer this in my shop for people who are looking for plus size vintage. Then I grabbed this other little jacket, kind of a bomber style. It's not a silk material like a lot of those pieces, but 
I think this one is actually a cotton blend. It feels very soft and it has this Italian postcard motif all over it. I debated it at first, but after I tried it on, I decided this was a very cool jacket and has a lot of styling potential with the fun colors. So I went with a simple chic black base with the outfit and then threw on the gold and red accessories and the Gucci bag to go with the Italian vibe. And then speaking of Italian, I have this Versace-esque vintage blazer. I really wanted to style this piece with a fun pattern mix with the hound's tooth and then bring out all the bold colors with my silk blue trousers and a bold headband and even white boots. I think this look is a little more editorial than wearable, but it would photograph really amazing. And then I think you could pair the blazer with something a lot more casual underneath to add a really bold statement piece to an outfit. And then another jacket. I was so excited to find this one. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love this Southwestern motif style. And I do already have a jacket in this style that I absolutely love. So I, as much as I want to keep this one, this one has gone up for sale in my shop. I just thought it was too cool to leave behind. The fit and quality of it is really fantastic. And I think the muted tones in this make it actually pretty easy to style. It brings a little bit of a nice, fun 90s flair to any look though. I picked up a few pairs of trousers, which was awesome because this is something currently on my thrift list. I'm in need of pants. These ones are amazing because they have an adjustable waistline built into them. And then this orange pair are silk, 100% silk, and just a really cool shade of orange. I don't know what the brand is, unfortunately, but I'm gonna be styling those with some of the other pieces coming up. This Express blouse from the 90s is probably one of my favorite finds of the entire year so far. Absolutely fun, funky, and gorgeous. Very 90s moment, like pinnacle 90s in my mind. And I think a blouse in this style can be extremely versatile. Despite the bold print, I think there's a lot of ways to style it by tucking it, by tying up the front, uh, rolling the sleeves, layering it under sweaters. It could pair with a lot of different uh, skirts and trousers. So very excited about this find. I think I'm just gonna really enjoy styling it. My favorite was this technique with a stretchy gold waist belt and wearing it bloused out and loose around my waist. And then just to make it extra fun, throw in even more patterns with a leopard print bag and I feel like this is a really cute, fun 90s look. Love this piece. And by the way, these are the black trousers from my thrift haul. I also got this red mixed print sheer blouse. It looks like another 90s vintage piece to me. I love the little necktie. I love how it's a sheer material and the sleeves have this really amazing blousing to them and that is like the absolute best detail. I love that fit. The little neck scarf is also super cute. Now on me, you can see it doesn't fit around my hips as well. So it's got to be styled up either in a tie in the front or definitely tucked in. So I'm wearing it with the high-waisted trousers that I also picked up on this trip. And I think once it's tucked into something high-waisted, then it works for me okay. And I'm just gonna pair it with some cute accessories and really enjoy wearing this piece. I also, obviously it's very sheer, so I definitely need to work on layering it up in different ways, uh, depending on whether I wanna show my bra or not like that. And then I got this other funky printed blouse. This is like a tuxedo style shirt with this wild and colorful swirl print all over it. I love how the tag says outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. <laughs> and it's pretty cute on. It's like a little bit oversized, so it might be actually a men's style blouse and uh, pretty fun to style up. So I wanted to layer it in a little bit different way. Those sort of corset style tops are really cute right now over button up blouses. I'm not sure about the hat. I felt like that was a step too far. So we took it back off, but uh, I actually just pulled like a tank top over it to uh, create that corset effect. So you don't even need to have the piece in order to do that styling. So really like that look. 
And if you watched last week's video, I had found a number of 1960s polyester shift dresses. And here is another one just showing you the metal zipper there that looks to be like a 60s vintage dress. And it fits me okay. I think it's a really cute orange and cream. So I wanted to style it with a hair scarf and some little white booties and kind of lean into a little bit of a 60s feel with also some modern twists super cute little fit and flare number i think the sleeveless thing is fun for summer so i'm thinking about putting that one in my shop and then i found this pink polyester tunic button-up vest style piece it says that it was originally two pieces but i did not see the other one i bet it came with matching trousers originally so I tried it over the dress and I felt like the length was wrong. I really like it best styled over just a jeans and t-shirt situation with sneakers. I think is super cute. It doesn't fit me the best though. It should really button in the front. So that one is also gonna go in my shop. And then I snagged this on the dollar deals, this really soft pink and sort of bluish gray sweater that is probably an 80s piece uh, plus size and it has this fun like swirly stripe across it that gives it that fun art house vibe really like that i love the rib knit on it it's really soft and comfortable so i wanted to style it with just light wash denim and a couple cute accessories and i think it's just a fun wearable vintage piece and then I snagged this button up sort of jacket top, jacket if you will. Um, it is this cool warm tone plaid pattern that I really liked and I loved the cropped fit. So I thought it looked perfect with these orange silk pants that I just picked up as well. And they are also high-waisted. So this one looks cute if you actually tuck in the uh, collar lapels a little bit to give it more of a V-neck. It's a super easy styling trick and makes the piece look a little bit more modern. Another cool 60s or 70s piece with a cool dagger collar. I love this sort of Partridge family style print that's all over it. And I have picked up a few tops from this exact same brand and they are fun to wear. This one doesn't fit me the best, so it is going in my shop. But it has some nice details, like the buttons on it are really nice kind of brass color that's in really good shape. Again, the fun dagger collar is just like so iconic. So I would style it really simply with some cool 70s looking denim and boots. I even put on the yellow sunglasses just to give it a little bit more of that vibe. And it's a fun look without being too on the nose. Then I found this cardigan jacket that's like a nice soft wool with these cute double breasted brass buttons and it is this sort of nautical theme almost in my mind. It looks like something you wear to the Cape on Labor Day weekend and and you just needed to throw on one more cozy layer. So it doesn't feel like my personal style but I'm going to put it in my shop because I think it's so cute. Now I'm gonna show you my surprise favorite piece of this haul, this sequin halter top. This was a vintage dead stock piece, still with the original tags, and it is plus size from Maggie Lawrence. So I did get to try this on in the fitting room and I was actually super into it. I just thought this would be a fun piece to style and it adds a little bit of like a sparkle and glam element when it's layered up with some more casual elements. And I could totally see me wearing something like this just to go out to dinner with friends kind of thing. It's just a little bit fun and kind of adds a lot to my closet in just one little fun piece. And that was everything from my haul. So that is everything between the two Goodwills. I came home with almost 40 pieces of incredible vintage and some really good staples to add to my closet. And as I mentioned, some of the stuff will go up in my online shops, which I link below if you're interested in stuff like that. I do get asked all the time, so I'm not trying to be give you pressure or anything, but if you wanted to know, the info is down there. Thank you so much for coming thrifting with me. We will certainly go back to my favorite spots in Roanoke in the future feel free to leave comments let me know what some of your favorite pieces were or what you thought maybe i left behind not that i like left anything behind <laughs> i went a little ham on this trip 
And just in case you missed it and you don't know what I'm talking about, last week was part one of this day and we went to a different Goodwill and it had another huge haul of vintage. So you can go check out that video if you'd like to. You can also give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you can subscribe for new videos every Sunday and sometimes I have bonus content during the week. So if you turn on your notifications, you won't miss a thing. And I'll see you guys back here soon for the next video. Okay, this will be the ending. Uh, what? <laughs> I'll show you how Ruger is looking at me right now from the other room. What? You wanna come try on some clothes? Wanna come see my thrift haul? Oh. Okay, for real, this will be the ending of the video. Wait. Ruger, no barks. No barks. No barks. Go get a toy. So yeah, like I So yeah, like I I was like debating on what to wear under this <laughs> and then I go to put it on and it's like, oh, you can't, you can't see what's under it like at all. Although I did get some cute little sleeve effect there. Jeez. Rigger's just grumbling his way through the entire afternoon just being angry. So just thought I would share that Miner told me in this outfit I looked like an anime character. <laughs> wave. Because I was just over here playing with it. Sorry. <laughs> just a wave. At least they're off the hand. Wait, you're not fucking.